Hi, my name is Phil Joseph and I'm going to show you a mobile application created using Catavolt Extender. I want to show you how it interacts with an AS400 and specifically the DB2 database and an RPG program. Before I show you the application itself, let me show you what the RPG program is going to do. So here we have our RPG program, which we're going to call using two parameters. One is a customer number and the other one is a date. It's going to take the cust customer number and inquire against the customer master file to see if the customer is on credit hold. And if it is, it's going to issue an error. If it's not on credit hold, then it's going to produce for us an availability table based on the date that we gave it. And all this is going to run on the AS400 inside your data center. So here I am out here on my mobile device and I'm going to talk, my mobile device is going to talk to the Catavolt Cloud which talks to your firewall which talks to our satellite server inside your data center which talks to the 400. From a geography standpoint I'm in Georgia, the cloud uh, is based in Texas, and this data center is in Michigan, none of which really matters because in the internet age, geography is irrelevant. From a user standpoint, they're going to ask for, from this customer, they're going to ask for the availability. The Catalog Cloud says, take the two pieces of data it needs for parameters and send that to the satellite server and ask it to call the program. It does, expecting either an error to come back, which goes all the way back to the, the user, or if no error, then the cloud says, great, it goes back here and inquires into the availability table, it's now there, and gives that to the user. So the user gets either an error or the availability information back from the request. And now you know enough to be able to see how the program looks. Here's an iPad with the Catavolt app on it. If I touch the Catavolt app and sign in as sales, you can see that I get a list of choices, and I'll zoom in so you can see this better. I'll touch accounts. The idea here is I might be the sales rep and I'm seeing a list of my accounts. The top one there is Adam Supply. I've got the name, the city, the state, postal code, and phone number, and so forth. And they want to know if they can get some more generators. So I'm going to check the availability. I've got a product line that includes recreational, emergency, and professional generators. I'll leave it recreational. And we're going to say as of the 1st of July. Oops. And he wants 50. 50. Five zero, save. Now is when it runs the RPG program, which said that you have the Yamaha 900 watt. Yeah, you got 61 of those in Glendale, which is. California, which is not too far from Arizona. That's why the delivery date is soon, only two days, and the shipping isn't much, right? So you can see the shipping and the total price and all that. If you want to see a picture of one of these, you can take a look at the Generac right there. Show the picture, and let me back up a little bit because it's kind of big. Right, so there you go. And let's say we want to see this for the other guy, the next one down, this customer, check availability, and I'm just going to leave that all the way it is because this guy's on credit hold, right? So there's the RPG message coming back to let you know that uh, you can't sell anymore to this guy until he pays some, some of his bill. Now, this is on an iPad, and maybe your sales rep doesn't have a tablet or an Apple device at all. He has an Android phone. Here I have the Catavolt application, so I'm going to sign in as the very same user and see the very same thing, but the UI looks very different. This is white on black, and there's no room for that big grid, so it stacks it like this, but all the data and all the functions are identical. Here I can change this to a date of July 1. I can pick, put the uh, quantity in of 50. It's going to run the R oops, 50, and it'll run the RPG program and come up with the very same results. 
and you see it's all native on this device so it feels very comfortable to the user because it fits the kind of style they're used to. You see my pictures are smaller. I can make it a little bigger that way. My landscape. And if I want to go back to that earlier customer, second one, and check availability for this guy, this is the one that had the credit problem, and sure enough, get the same result here. So you don't have to worry about what device it is. We handle all that, and we make sure that it runs native and looks good on the device. So let me show you the cloud side of all this and how I put it all together. In the diagram I showed you earlier, I drew something called the Catavolt Cloud. Well, that's what this is. And we started with customer account. When I first touched account on the iPad and you saw that list of accounts, what you saw was defined right here. It said you get the name, the city, the state, and so forth, all these different fields. And this first column shows you the actual DB2 field names. I also created a check availability option and here is the XML request that calls the RPG program. You see the program name, you see the first parameter is the customer number, the second parameter was the date, and the third parameter is the one that comes back which is the error message. If that all completes normally with no errors then it says open the available item object which is created over the DB2 table that this RPG program creates. Let me show you that. On that available item object, here's the table, ITAV, whatever. Um, when that came up, it showed the user this data right here. Item, warehouse, quantity on hand, ship days, and all that. All of which was created in that table by the RPG program. I also threw in the ability to go show a picture down here. See this action? And that simply says call the JPEG that has the same name as the item number. And that's available on an FTP site that I can get. So all this was very easy to do. Uh, the extender side of it is no programming at all. It took me a few hours. Of course the RPG side is programming and I had another guy do that. But you can see why we call this product extender. Because it extends the AS400 onto mobile devices. And we actually built the original version of extender from an AS400 platform which is why it works so seamlessly with DB2 and RPG and all that. So if your company has a 400 and you want mobile access, you definitely want to check this out. Thanks for watching.